everybody! So, I was feeling kind of inspired today, and I wanted to talk a little bit about Winter and his character arc. I feel like a lot of people overlook his arc due to his involvement in the whole love triangle debacle, which is a shame because I actually think Winter has one of the best character growths in the entire series. Warning, this will have spoilers for the second arc since I'm going to be talking about one of its main characters. Also on that note, please excuse any mistakes I make as it's been quite a while since I've read these books. I'm really excited to talk about this because I've got a lot of feelings on the subject, so let's dive on in. Winter starts out as a pretty solid antagonist in book 6. Moon is constantly worried about him, he's pretty growly and grumpy, and even though he's not evil or anything, he's definitely an antagonist. He ends the book on a pretty good anti-hero, I think, but even then we don't really see the depths of his character. Book 7 changes all that as we get a dramatic and deep look into Winter's character. We see his inner dialogue, and we get a glimpse at the harsh rigidity of his childhood that made him so prickly. Book 7 turns Winter from the grumpy, rude person to the guy who means well, but just doesn't know how to express himself properly. This in itself is a pretty good revelation. Tui let us see Winter one way and then showed us the real depth of his character. It's kind of the same thing she did with Snowfall, letting us think one way about her before once again proving that nobody is any one thing. But Winter's arc goes further. Over the course of the second arc, we see him get to a genuinely good place. Winter starts out temperamental and confrontational and ends up living out his best life in the woods, studying his passion and living for himself. It's a really fulfilling end to his character and a really great message. And why don't more people realize this? Like, I'm not a huge Winter fan. Ghibli is one of my favorite characters. I enjoyed reading about Winter, but the only interesting thing about him for me is just the beautiful writing that Tui put into him. Too often, though, Winter is oversimplified as the grumpy dragon, and it's a huge disservice to both the character himself and the message Tui's writing puts out there. Winter's big flaw, or his big issue, was that he grew up in everybody's shadow. Icicle, Snowfall, even Hailstorm. Whether intentionally or not, these dragons all made Winter feel inferior as he grew up, which fostered that desperate need to prove himself and that sense of anger that we see in Book 6. Winter constantly felt like he wasn't enough, and it made him defensive and suspicious, where in a better world he would have been that caring and kind dragon that we see later. We see more of his natural attitude poking out in future books, his attitude with Kinkajou and later with Sky and Ren. The plot for Book 7 for Winter was about leaving all that behind, the expectations, the constant need to prove himself, the feelings of inadequacy. When he faked his death and left the kingdom, that was Winter cutting ties with his toxic family and starting over with dragons who actually care about him as a person and not what he can offer them. This is an amazing plot for Tui to write, and it was beautifully subtle, but so very easy to see when you look for it. Winter is really fun to read about because his story isn't just an add-in to the main plot. It's about him realizing that his parents, his queen, his older siblings, they couldn't define him in his life. It's about Winter realizing that he's worth something and finally becoming more of who he was meant to be. That calm, sweetly interested dragon that we see in later books out studying scavengers and living his best life, that's the version of Winter I think is his true self. Tui stripped away the self-hatred and the unattainable expectations and the suffocating rules and laws, and beneath all that we got just Winter. And he is beautiful. Y'all starting to get why this is such a satisfying character arc for me? What other character experiences this much positive growth? Who else has had such a major turnaround? I'm so hugely proud of Winter for all the good choices he's made. He got out of his family's clutches, he found supportive friends who truly cared about him, he realized his situation was not okay, and he actually changed it. He left, he found what he truly loved, and he began working to be a better dragon. And it's been a long five book journey, which helps make a natural transition that's been really amazing to follow. Sure, Winter is still arrogant and snippy at times, but he's a genuinely good dragon now and his friends know it. So Winter has this giant amazing growth. He's made leaps and bounds in his personality and he's made improvements in almost all areas of his life. So <laughs> let's address the elephant in the room. That darn love triangle. Honestly, I think love triangles are in general a poor choice. There's no sure way to distract from the plot unless it's a romance novel, that's the exception, while alienating half your audience. They're pointless, they're annoying, and they take up valuable pages in your story. But since I've just spent so much time praising Winter, I do want to address why I still support how Tui resolve that love triangle. There are several reasons why I think Moon and Keebly are a more stable couple than Moon and Winter. The big one is that at the time of this coupling, Winter wasn't in a good place. 
he was feeling unstable, and he just made a huge choice to leave his entire life behind and start fresh. Plus, before that, he was kind of awful to be around. As much as I like Winter, I can admit that in Book 6 era, he was awful, especially to Moon. And yes, he got better. I've already explained that. Don't take this as me hating on Winter. But as much as we have to think about Winter in that relationship, we have to consider Moon herself as well. Yes, Moon was a hugely steadying presence in Winter's life. If they were together, yes, she would continue to be a huge help to him. But you have to think about this effect on her as well. When they met, Winter just wasn't ready to be in a romantic relationship. Those kinds of things take huge amounts of sacrifice and commitment if you want to have a lasting, steady, healthy relationship. Winter was in this area of tumultuous growth and massive change, and yes, those were positive things, but it made it not a great time to add a whole second layer of complexity to his life. And that would have had a bad effect on Moon. The gist of it is, while Moon would have been able to help Winter, he wouldn't have been healthy for her. As friends, Moon is still able to help him without having to take such a huge negative toll from it. Had Moon met Winter after his arc, my opinion on this would be different. After his arc, Winter is a stable, supportive guy, and honestly, I think he'd be pretty good for Moon. But by then, she's already going pretty steady with Ghibli. Is there room for that to change? Sure. Would I be opposed to it? Really? No, because they would be good together right now. But from a purely reader stance, I'm immensely thankful that that love triangle disaster is over, and I never want to see it revisited, so I'm pretty happy with things the way they are. There are other reasons why I feel Winter Watcher wouldn't have worked at that time, but that's kind of my big one. It wouldn't have been healthy for Moon. Winter's arc is absolutely perfect the way it is, and now that he's matured so much and grown so positively, I think he's in a much better place for romance. With anyone, not just Moon. It's an all-round better situation than angsty teenage pre-arc winner from book six. Ugh, I can, I can already hear the, the angry Winter Watcher shippers typing furiously at me, like the sounds they're echoing in my ears. Please don't yell at me, it makes me sad. So that kind of wraps up my thoughts on Winter. Overall, he's a stunning character with perhaps the most brilliant arc in Wings of Fire history. I can't emphasize enough the massive leaps and bounds he made as a character, and it always makes me so proud when I read about him because he's just come so far. He left his toxic childhood behind, and now he's like off living his best life in this huge screw you to anybody who ever tried to make him feel like he wasn't enough. This is beyond beautiful for me and I would encourage anybody who hasn't seen this in his character to like go back and give it a reread and really look for this because it's a really inspiring arc to read about. What do you guys think about Winner's arc? Did you notice it too and was it as satisfying to you as it was for me? Be sure to check out the links in the description to find my Redbubble and DeviantArt along with other stuff. And don't forget to drop a comment, a like, or a subscribe if you're interested in more videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching and please have a wonderful day.